Today we're talking about Facebook advertising targeting guys. I want to talk to you and give you a couple ideas on how you can get better results when it comes to your Facebook advertising and the targeting that you're doing. Now there's a few things that you want to take into consideration. So number one is I want you to think that you're doing what I like to call a stakeout, right? This is something that we teach in all of our programs where imagine that just over here, we're looking through and peering through the windows and we're assessing and we're looking at our ideal client. A little bit creepy, I know it sounds like, but this is the way that you can get the most insights, information and details about your ideal clients. And that's what you really need to use for your targeting. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that we're targeting the right niche. Now, a lot of people go, I have a niche, I know what I'm doing. Most of the times, if you're probably watching this video, I'm gonna put it out there, you probably don't, okay? <laughs> now, what do we need to do to first off choose the right niche? Well, first of all, what we need to do is we need to narrow an age bracket by 10 years, okay? Not 20 years, not 30 years. Now, if you're a bricks and mortar business, I'll give you a little bit of leeway there. I'll give you a bit of a gap. You can go a little bit further. But if you're an online business or if you service people in a wide range of areas, then 10 years is a bracket you need to use. Then you need to choose male or female. Again, not both. And now the most, of the most of the time, the reason why people go, oh, I think I need to use both is because you feel like you're going to miss out if you don't service men or you don't service women. Now, I'm just talking in the uh, priority and the proximity to your advertising campaigns. So you can do many different campaigns and you can use many different things. However, I would recommend starting with male or female in a 10-year age bracket. Now, we also use a thing called the mogul method, right? A process that we use, which allows you to become a celebrity in your niche, which is why I also recommend starting locally. Start in your local area, your local market, and really dominate there because that's what's going to get you a better result. That's what's going to position you as an expert. That's, what, that's what's going to allow you to really start to get excellent, excellent results when it comes to your Facebook advertising targeting, okay? Now, that's what you need to think of for your niche. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna go a deep dive. We're gonna really start to stalk these people. We're gonna really start to figure out exactly how we can get into their heads and understand exactly what it is that they do, okay? Now, guys, I'm here in the beautiful Guanajuato and it's about to start raining. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump inside and I'm going very shortly to the airport. So we're gonna pick up part two where we're gonna really dive into how you can identify what to target. We're given some overarching parameters. We're gonna go deeper and I'm gonna show you that next once I get to the airport. Cheers. Okay, guys, the story continues. I'm at the airport now and you can see behind me, I'm at the news agency where they've got all the magazines, all the books and everything like that. So what you wanna be thinking about is if your ideal client, your niche, your target market was coming in here, what are the books that they would be picking up? What would they be reading? Why would they be reading it? What section would they be flicking to? So if you're taking a look here at all the different magazines that they have, think about the categories in a bookshop as well. Where do they stop? Do they go to the autobiography section? Do they go to the section about uh, celebrities? And if so, which ones are they following? So what you want to do is you can see here there's such a big selection, find 10 of each, 10 magazines, 10 books, 10 people that they would follow. That's what you want to be doing to assess, like do they like little fluffy dolls, right? I'm in the kids section as you can probably tell um, just outside or you know, do they like to have cool little dogs? Each one would be completely different. Each one would be a different process to think about. So. After you've already got your niche understood, you need to then go down deep and think about that and then also do the same where you would think about TV shows and then also personal brands, blogs, etc. So to start off with 10 magazines, then 10 books, TV shows, movies, and then influencers online as well because what you'll find out is very quickly, I'm just gonna get out, it's become busy now, very quickly, you'll be able to find out exactly what it is and who they are. And this is not just a reason for fun. And I'll give you guys a few other examples as we go along. The reason that we want to do this is because it's going to help you to target them on Facebook. It's going to help you to be able to find them specifically. So also think about, another one I like to think of, is brands. So as we go here, we've got Mimco, Victoria's Secret, Our Secret, Country Road, Witchery, Pharmacy, 
tech to go, all these different places, French Connection, like even in the tech stores, right, you're gonna have different variants as well. So let's like show you quickly behind here at the tech store, right, you got all the different options here. So you need to be thinking, are they Apple? Are they Android? Are they Samsung? Are they Huawei or one of the other random ones as well? Every single person um, that goes to these stores is different, right? Every single one, Mac Cosmetics, Benefit Cosmetics, they're all different, all different people. What about even, and then the next up here we have the, uh, the bar. So it's like, are they beer drinkers? The bar. Do they like to drink beer? Are they, a, maybe are they drinking uh, wine? What type of wine? Where's the wine from? All these different sorts of things. And if you can do this properly, you're gonna have a really, really laser targeted understanding of your audience. And that's gonna mean that you are gonna get the best results when it comes to your targeting. And then I'll do a screen record for you guys in just a sec on my computer. So I'm just gonna jump on a plane, fly back to the office and I'll do a screen record for you guys and show you then how we put all of this into Facebook. Very cool. Back now from the airport, we've jumped into the computer and I wanna show you guys how we now start to really dial in this Facebook ad targeting, how we start to understand it, how we start to use it so that we can take advantage of it. So all I've done here is I've gone into Facebook Audience Insights. So if you click on your little hamburger menu at the top here, anywhere in Ads Manager, Business Manager, etc. Be able to come across to all tools and then planning and audience insights. This is where you can start to pull all your favorite info. So let's just say that uh, we want to target people in Australia, where I'm from, the land down under, right? We want to bring people in and we can start to look at the target. So if you think back to that stalking we were doing at the airport, um, really starting to track and understand them and stake them out a little bit, right? If we imagine here, let's just say that, okay, we're going to be working with 35 to 45-year-old women. And let's just say that we've chosen interest. Let's just say they're a little bit more classy, um, these older ladies, and they like, for example, Chanel, Coco Chanel. Right, so there's 20 to 25,000 active ladies in Australia, 35 to 45, that like Coco Chanel. Now, there may be other Chanel interests that we could target, but really, I just want to focus on this one audience, this one audience here. And I've because as well, like I said, by having such a targeted understanding, by having such a targeted interest, we're gonna be able to find out a lot about them, which helps, you know, once we've done our stalking, we found them. We can see that 72% of these ladies are married. Wow, that's really big, right? Uh, over 67% of them have a um, university degree, we'll say in Australia. 40% of them are in management, 33% are in admin services, 30% are in sales, right? That's really good. Then what we wanna find out for our advertising, right? This is all about our Facebook ad targeting. Let's have a cheeky look at the page likes. Now this is other pages that they like, right? So we look at re uh, websites, they've got Rebonds, Hush, Shopping Mall, Chadston, uh, so a lot of probably Melbourne if we check out their location, Salt and Pepper Kitchen stuff, Domain Australia, Furniture, Miele, uh, ovens and whatnot, shoes, Home Decor, Pottery Barn, West Elm, Wall Art, Curious Grace, like DFOs, Health and Beauty, Estee Lauder, Clinique, L'Oreal, Olay, Mecca Maxima, Fashion Warehouse, Beauty Crew, and there's more, right? Even more as well. Now we can see down here all the uh, brands that are similar Swarovski, Max Barrow, Guess, DFO. These are all now targeting interests that we can use as part of our Facebook ads. Because we figured out that one part, we know some of their interests, we've done a little bit of stalking, if you will. Then we can find out everything else that they're interested in, everything else that we want to follow about them. Like we look at their location, where they are in Australia, like I said, Melbourne, boom, 12%, uh, Sydney, 18%. 4% in Perth, 2% Brisbane, as you can go down the list from there, right? A lot of uh, Victoria uh, locations as well. See their activity. By using Audience Insights, we can get a really, really detailed understanding of how they operate, right? We can see most of them use an iPhone, again, which is interesting. So we can use Apple. But what this allows us to do more than anything is that when we are jumping into our, uh, jumping into 
our ads, when we're jumping in and we're starting to really, really deeply go after these people, we have a greater understanding, we have more interest, we have more targeting options, we can go deeper in what we're doing. So instead of just having a spray and pray approach, instead of just chucking stuff against a wall and seeing what sticks, now we have a very, very specific process that we can take people through, right? And then once we understand them and we found this information about them, we can keep going deeper because each one of these, let's just go, we go, okay, well, um, Let's say melee, right? We go, oh, yep, definitely melee. That's definitely one they're going to look at. Let's go deeper in there. And that will open up melee's Facebook page and we start to search even more and more and more. And then what we can do is we can take out Coco Chanel and we can put in melee as a targeting interest instead, right? Uh, and then we can find out more information from there take that out so we've got freedom physio and pilates okay that's pretty interesting freedom physio and pilates we, now we can target their health and wealth um well-being all this type of stuff what else we got down here all the different furniture places so these are all targeting opportunities for us these are all opportunities for us to get a deeper understanding of our market so when we're having conversation with them it's a lot of shopping that goes on for ladies uh shopping for um if we look at like classifying them we've got basically like home style stuff. Then we've obviously got their clothing, shoes, and then makeup products as well. And if we switch, uh, flip the switch a little bit and look at the men who like Melee. Don't know if there's gonna be any, too many. So they've got things like Lawnspiration, uh, Drambui, Penfolds, Mortgage Choice, Electronic Wholesalers Online, Big Boys Toys, Trade Prestige, Soul Beer, James Squire, right? So most of their <laughs> food and beverage companies are all beers. Uh, then there's wine and spirits. So you can see that guys are shopping for a lot of different stuff. They're shopping for electronics, cars, and alcohol, right? <laughs> Very different to the ladies. So depending on the audience that we're looking for, we can use different strategies by coming in here and finding out more about them. So this is what helps us when it comes to your Facebook targeting to really dive into their mindset and understand them and then really get better results when it comes to your marketing and your Facebook ads. So this is what I wanna show you guys, this is what I wanna give you give you the opportunity to take advantage of so that you can get better results with your Facebook ad targeting. Now, that's all that we have for you today, guys. I'm taking you from Mexico to the airport, back home into the computer. And as always, if you've enjoyed what you heard today, make sure that you like this video for me. Make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought, anything we could have done better, anything you want to see more of. And also make sure you subscribe so you get everything before anyone else. Until next time, guys, adios, and we'll see you soon. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.